I have a Orbs balloon here, and then I have a um, jumbo blue balloon, two different shades. I have some navy. I also have some um, marble, and I have some white um, clear balloons that resemble bubbles. And then I also have some clear with blue confetti. There's just all pretty different shades of blue and I'm so excited to see how they come out. And then I also have some blue here because this is a baby shark party. So that is going to be a few baby shark balloons that I'm gonna incorporate. And I will have a majority of all of these balloons um, linked in the description box below for you guys to check out on your own if you're interested in purchasing. These are all of the balloons that I have blown up and tied in twos. My baby sharks are over here and then I have a few huge ones. Um, the other one fell off that I'm gonna use at the bottom on both sides. My number two that you should have seen in my previous video if you watched that. And then these are all of the balloons. Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> so I've already blown up all of my balloons and I have tied them in clusters of two and I did just a few that have three or four so they're all tied together so the first thing that you want to do is take your string you can use um, regular balloon string you can use fishing line um, those are pretty much the only two things that I've ever used um, excuse the lighting I'm not at home actually on location where the party will be so it's a little different than my house but we're gonna get going I'm gonna go grab my string and we're gonna get started and this is my balloon string. I don't have my other roll that I would prefer to use. So what I like to do is for the bottom of the balloon garland, I like to set my size. And because I want the base on both sides to be um, big, I do have these same two balloons from both sides blown up. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tie these together. And this is what I'm going to do to get my balloon garland started. I'm gonna take my string, which is here, and I'm going to do a nice knot around. I'm gonna tie it a couple times just to make sure it's on there tight because this isn't my normal string. Um, this is just some string that came with some of the balloons. All right, and now that I have this tie, I'm gonna take another set and you crisscross. Let me pick out one. I'll take this set and I'm just going to cross them. Ooh, can you guys see that? This is weird. Okay, let me get a good position. <sighs> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna take this and I'm going to cross it in the middle and push it in between so that it's almost like an X. Once you have them crossed together, pull this down a little bit. Once you have them crossed over each other, you're gonna take the string, overlap over one of the balloons that are on the new pair, and then you're gonna take it around the existing, which will be the first one in this case, and give it a slight tug. And then on the first one, I always like to go over it again, so I'm gonna go over the new, and then I'm gonna go around the existing, and then it comes back up to the top, and then I'm going to give it a slight tug. For good measure, I'm gonna go around one more time. And then that's how you get it combined. So I'm gonna do a few more. We're gonna speed up and then I'll check back in with you guys. I'm gonna take my next set and crisscross it in between here. And I'm gonna go over the new. And then now I'm gonna take it over and under the existing 
one that got pear that I had on here before there. And give it a slight tug. And just keep going from there. Over the new, under the existing, slight tug that I like to go around sometimes again. Over the new, under the old, slight tug, over again. Over the new, over and under the old, slight tug, over again. Over the new, under the old one, back over again. Over, under, Light tug over again. All right, so quick check in. This is what I have so far. She's about seven feet tall. And I'm going to leave it like this for now. And I'm going to fill in some areas later on. Remember, just go crisscross them over the new and take it around in that same direction and go under an existing balloon, pull it back up, pull the string a little tight, not too tight because you don't want to pop the balloon and then just loop it around one more time for good measure if you feel like it may not be sitting good. But. All right guys, so we're gonna start off the same way we did the first time. I have my two balloons for my base. I use my largest balloons because that's the look that I'm going for. And I'm taking my string, which is here, and I'm tying a knot to attach the string to this balloon cluster. And I always tie it a few times on my first go round. Now that I have that done, I'm gonna start off my cluster with another larger pair. Go go with this one here. I'm gonna clear in the front. I don't know what they're gonna do blue in the front. So it'll be similar to the first one I did that's back here. So I'm gonna go with this one. And I have my string here. I'm gonna take it over the new balloon, which is the clear one. And I'm gonna take it around this big one. Give the string a slight tug to cinch it in. And I'm gonna go around this one one more time. And I said before on the first one, I like to make sure it's secure. So I'm gonna go around this one, under the existing one, pull it back up slight tug and it is attached. Now that I have some balloons cleared out of the way, I'm gonna see if I can give you guys a better view of getting the balloon garland going. I'm gonna take another set of balloons. This one, put right here, over the new, under the existing. Same thing on this side, over the new. I'm gonna take it under the existing, pull it back up, the string meets in the middle. Over, under, slight tug, around again. Over, under, like tug, and then I go around again. Over here, I'll put it in between this pair here, and I'm gonna go over the new and under the existing balloon, slight tug, around, 
over going over this new one and then I'm gonna take it under an existing one that's behind it pull the string back up to meet in the middle flip it around secure over the new take it around the existing pair slight tug wrap it around over the new under the existing slight pull over the new over the existing slight pull So this is what my two sides are looking like right now. I have a few more balloons left over here to go across the top and I have more in my box if needed. Um, but just wanted to give you guys a quick updated update on what I have so far. I'm gonna do some that's gonna go across the top and I'm also about to head home and grab some more string because I ran out because I didn't bring my string and I have to get the pipes and um, pipes that these are gonna go on. All right guys, I'm back and I have my poles. I'm gonna be using my collapsible stand. So what I did was I stretched it out so that I could see how long I need to do my balloon garland. So I'm just gonna lay it here and I'm gonna start making the top part for the balloon garland. All right, so I'm gonna get started. I already have my string tied on my first cluster. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding the balloons get the top part done. Taking my first cluster, placing it in the middle, over, under, pull. I'm all done with the balloons and I have it the length of the pole. See the start is over here and then it comes straight down and ends there. Thank you. Yes. Can you say, can you say hi now? Hi. Oh, you coming to steal my other shark. So I'm back and the goal is to hide this stuff that is in this garage. The party is gonna be in here, so everything else is coming out except these big items here. So I'm going to make the backdrop to pretty much hide all of that. So yeah. First thing I'm gonna do is I got some tinsel that I'm gonna be hanging up along the top part there. So the tinsel does have some adhesive on the back, so I'm gonna try that first and see if I can get it to line up on the pole that way before I try anything else. All right guys, so this is what it looks like right now. It is kind of see-through still, but I'm thinking that once the balloons are all around it, I may run the party city to see if they have uh, more, because I need probably about three more rows of this. I got this on Amazon though. I'm gonna run the party city and see if they have any more, but I can't wait to get the balloons up. It's gonna be so cute, you guys. Hey guys, so I am back and I'm about to attach my ends onto the backdrop stand. Um, and I'm using my balloon string. I'm just gonna tear me off a good piece, tie it in the middle, and if I need to do it at the top, I'll go, but I don't think I will, because as you guys can see, hopefully it is standing up pretty much by itself at this point, because of the way that I structured it with the big pieces on the bottom. So, that's what I'm gonna do first. Got my string. 
I'm gonna move you guys over a little bit so you can see good. There we go. So I have my string. I'm gonna take it on a balloon somewhere on the back, which you guys can't see from back. That's my braid over here, actually. So because this balloon garland is pretty much standing up on its own because of how the base is, I am going to tie a string around this balloon here and then attach it to the pole. That way it won't move. If it gets bumped a little. So I have it securely around there and then I'm going to come here didn't even need this much string, but I've done it already, so. Break off a piece of this string, and then I'm gonna take string around this one here, and tie it to the pole. I don't think I can. Put you guys back. Oh, there it goes. Tied here, and then I have another one tied right here. And the balloons are super light, so the string will hold just fine as long as nobody like we're doing this hot in this garage. So that is how that side looks. So now I'm gonna go do the same thing on the other side. And side number two is up. It's a little shorter than the other side, but it's okay, cause um, I'll fill in the gaps and places that I want more balloons at. And this is my top piece over here. All right guys, so my next challenge is going to be getting these balloons on the top part so that we can final look as of right now. I think I'm gonna try to get some more tinsel for the back, but overall, I think it came out great. Here goes the final look, guys.